What do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. How we doing, chat? Are we having a glorious Friday? End of the week. Some of you are going to be able to stretch your arms, lean back on the couch and relax, and watch a peaceful, relaxing stream. Well, I got good news and bad news for you, chat. You're in the right place. But there will be no peace. There will only be chaos. Chaos! Let it ring! Welcome, welcome back, everyone. So happy to see you. So happy to see you. Otaku74 in with the nine months as time flies when you're standing in a lava lock. <laughs> I don't have any clue what you're talking about. I, I, don't, I don't recall what it is that you were mentioning. Ellie on Ellie, a.k.a. Ellie O'Nelly. In with the 12 months, let's see some glorious Echoversary parties. Happy one year. Says, look what I found all dusty under the couch while moving this past weekend. A sub that's been hanging out for over a year. Welcome back, Ellie. It's good to see you. It is good to see you. Karen Ash, looking forward to the weekend and some wonderful millennia. That's right, we're playing some millennia today. It's free play Friday. We had a couple new follows coming in. IDEC at this point. Appreciate you. And then Nexus Spider. Welcome. Raymond. Hello. And then Yuki. Hello, Yuki. Happy Friday and thank you for the seven months. Raymond was one of the one of the folks that we met over at the PAX and the wonderful uh, had a great time. Got a sweet, sweet pin too. Mm, yes. That was probably my favorite thing to take home was pins. I didn't buy any pins myself, you know, or anything like that, but I got one from Raymond and one from Taco. So I've started my, my streamer pin collection. But of course, it made me feel like a uh, an unprepared streamer because I had no pins. But rest assured, I will be buying pins. And the only way someone's going to be able to get them is if they meet me. With some obvious exceptions, of course. Shay Shay, good to see you. Happy Friday. Speaking of which, I need to go follow Raymond. Whoop. Check out a couple of his streams. Golden Creations Hawaii, good morning to you as well. It's actually just turned the afternoon. Well, I guess, depend. Most people, I think they call afternoon after, you know, noon. <laughs> so it's been an hour for me. But you know how that goes. Details. Details don't matter here. We're here for the chaos. We're here for the for the camaraderie. We're here for the fellowshipping. You know what I'm saying. You behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I had a decent sleep last night. I'm feeling I'm feeling relaxed, which is not normally the way I like to go into the stream. I like to have a ton of energy. Hence the reason why we sip on the Earl Grey when it's a little earlier. I hit the gym a little harder than I normally hit it. You know, no big deal. Just four PRs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gurren has posted some guides, tips, and tricks on Millennia for Reddit on Reddit. Would appreciate a read. Most definitely. Chat, if you're looking to learn more about Millennia, go check out the Reddit. Look for Kuranas' post.
Forever lost in awe, such sad face. I love pins. I don't get to go, I don't get to go places. I work at my family's flower shop, and it's super hard to get away since it's just my dad and I running the place. You know what that reminds me of? Someone named the game and the character. That reminds me of. Come on, chat. You can do it. Has anybody else been playing some Millennia? It's one of the, I guess we'll call it uh, the side pieces. One of the side pieces I've been, uh, I've been playing with. For me, whenever I hear of a flower shop, I think of Aerith from Final Fantasy VII. It's a, just the opening sort of scenes, even though, this, you know, it's been, you know, what, 20 years now? But just the idea of a, a soft, kind-hearted person walking around with a basket of flowers giving them out, it, it's, it's a very, I don't know, what's that painting type? Not surreal, I don't know, but it, it's, it, it evokes an emotion in me, and I, I, have no, I, I have no idea why. Killer Dove says, Echo, stop punching buildings, even if they have the dreaded GYM letters on the side. Hey, I tell you what, um, the gym for me, it's more than just working out. The gym can be like a therapist. It can be a massage. It can be, it's completely therapeutic. Completely therapeutic. Ellie says, Aerith is such bae. Absolutely. Techno Gamer Black says you prefer an Aerith over Ares. Um, remind me who Ares is or Ares. Sorry, old Blackfeather. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Same person, different name. Why don't I remember this? Why doesn't this? Eris was the Western name. Did they fix that in current editions? It's so weird how they do that. I don't know why, but Aerith has always been what's in my main, in my brain. And obviously I played the Western title. That's that's some deep lore, Techno Gamer. Deep lore. I like it. Yeah, I've been waiting to play. The new, the release, obviously I play mo most everything on uh, PC, but I kind of want them to complete, I guess they're doing a trilogy. I don't understand how they separated, how they made a full game out of the first third, that sort of stuff. It's not confusing, but I don't know it. Like when you start the second game, do you start back at level one? Like, how does that work? Like, oh, you're a new character again. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Or do you import your save? Like, eh. Mini Soul Reaper in with the nine months. Three quarters of the way to the echo -versary. Oh, by the way, I didn't see any echo parties, so I'm going to do my own echo parties for Ellie's uh, one year. Echo party... I am so not good at Twitch. Pyroy says it's called milk in it. I get it. I get it that they want to that they want to milk it. And I don't necessarily mind it because from what I hear, it like the first segment is truly a an entire game unto itself. But when you've already played the complete work, it's more difficult, right? Like to segment it in your brain. Current ass asks if I've ever played the Total War games. Yes. I've never, I don't think I've ever played on stream, but I have played some Total War. I think uh, Shogun. Thank you, chat, for celebrating Ellie's one year. Techno says it is Aerith across all of them now. Yeah, maybe I just have read it so much recently that that's where my brain goes. I don't 
don't know. I don't know. So yes, today we're going to be playing some Millennia. We're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to try for a Heroic Age. I'm excited to, I have gotten a Heroic Age offline. Uh, now that uh, all the NDAs are down and everything, I've been playing Millennia for probably about a month and a half um, in pre preparation for obviously the sponsored video I did, which <laughs> as expected, we had some haters in the YouTubes thinking I was just taking a bag. Technical techno gamer black says usually it's an import. I love how they did it across the Dragon Age games where you can get the character you played in the older games as characters in the newer one. Yeah, absolutely. I think to me that's the only way to do it, right? To keep the continuity if you're trying to extend the story. You know, it, if you're just trying to start a new story, it, it's just it's different. Mr. Jibo in with a pendiculate and a drink. Oh, you even get some post gem pendiculates. We'll go with the Earl Grey for Mr. Jibo's drink. Cheers to you. I don't, my Discord still hasn't said hello, has it? Of course it hasn't. I cannot wait, cannot wait to be done with stream elements. At everyone playing some millennia on Twitch. Come say hi. P.S. Bad bot. There we go. It posted a notice 20 minutes ago. Oh, oops. Maybe I delete that note. See, one bad thing about that notice, thank you, Queen, is it doesn't say the name of the game we're playing. Sorry for the double ping. Didn't mean it. Still bad bot. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get a notification. That was weird. Techno Gamer says, I always assume it's Ani. Yeah, and that's the problem, right? Because some sometimes people might not be in a mood for Ani and be like, oh, Echo's playing a different game. Let me go check this out, right? Current Ass says, please be careful. The game is quite addicting. It is. It it has it has the the that element of one more turn. And it's, it's different in like other titles like Civ um, where you want to keep experimenting with different paths and trying different strategies. Rakeen in with the three months. Thank you, Rakeen. I appreciate you. Dawnstar in with the 10 months says life has been crazy and I miss you guys. I missed you too, Dawnstar. Glad you're able to make it today. Otaku says, but I'm here for Echo in the chat. Games are icing on the cake in the corner. Thank you, Otaku. Thank you very much. Hi, Zimmy. Welcome back. David Perm. Um, and that's, it's so important for a Twitch community. So important. Mind Fury says, is this game a good start for someone who's never played a 4X type game? I'm debating getting it. Oh, that is such a threaded question. I don't think it's a bad place to start at all because it is a solid title. Um, you will see, I think right now, Steam, it's probably still mixed. A lot of Paradox games get mixed and it's typically to do with graphics. Uh, but the graphics, I'll be honest, they're pretty good. Um, people are hating on the <clears throat> animation and the battle scenes. You don't even have to look at them. It's just a bonus. Most 4X games, when two armies battle, they just, you know, and then you see the little health bars. Millennia goes one further and allows you to see how the, how the units interact. 
for instance, archers being able to go over walls, that sort of thing. Still mixed, yeah. And a lot of times when they reduce, when they uh, start producing more DLC, because it is it is published by Paradox, so you are going to see uh, DLC. For some people, they don't like that because they think it's trying to milk it or whatever and like that. But hey, Jet, it's more content. More content takes more dev work. More dev work takes money, right? Ed says, Lurk, someone is still guessing states. Don't worry, Ed. It's good to see you. What's the percentage, Ed? I can't wait to find out what the percentage is. Forty-four percent. That's not bad. Donstar says, "I still love Civ Six." To be honest, though, Millennia has peaked. Uh oh. Bad things are happening. I can't see. Millennia has peaked in interest for sure. Well, hopefully, we'll be able to peak that interest a little bit more. Dave Hammer in with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate you. Welcome back, Dave. Evil Knievel 79 says, I love auction not included, but geez, those end game achievements are challenging. Yes, they are. They definitely can be. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate you. Working and larking. Love to see it. Love to see it. Man, I'm really. Is the uh, just chatting music good? I think it's good. It's not drowning me out, right? I'm slowly starting to finesse with where we are with uh, just chatting music as, as far as the volume. I got the stream start volume, you know, perfect, but. Mr. Brain, I 100% agree. The main issue people have with DLC is that a lot of games come out feeling incomplete and then the DLC is paying me to get the whole game. I would agree with that statement 100% of the time. I don't think Paradox does that. I think pe what people are used to is that Paradox will support these games for years. And so they'll be playing, for instance, U um, Europa Universalis for so long and they have so much DLC built up that it is such, it's just so much more content. It's so layered, it's so deep right they forget what a what it looks like when it first comes out for instance um we used to call them expansion packs <laughs> we don't call them expansion packs anymore we just call it dlc people didn't mind expansion packs but i i could definitely feel that point dave says stand for stellaris yep Kurnas says, uh, most of Paradox games become bangers when there are a few DLCs were released. Um, Hearts of Iron 4, uh, Crusader Kings 3, Europa Universalis 4, all had mixed reviews, but are now classics. Absolutely. Belors, I'm sure I'm butchering that. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chaos. Welcome, welcome. First time chatter as well says, hey -o. Yeah, I'm excited to dive back into it um, because I had the uh, the time over at PAX. Been busy getting back into the flow of things. I haven't been able to play it in a minute, so I, I'm um, looking forward to that. Dragonland Eight, Dragonland. I appreciate the follow. Welcome, welcome to the chaos. Glad to have you. For those of you new to the stream. We like to do something uh, to show appreciation to everybody that chose to spend their most valuable resource, and that's their time. And as a way of doing that, we do a roll call, right? Sort of like when you're in school and the teacher went down the list and said your name. It's different, but uh, I'm going to say your name just to say thank you for coming over. So with that being said, in order to be included in the, the roll call, you have to say something in chat. It can be an emote. It can be a hi, a boop. Uh, you can even tell chat what uh, the last game you were playing. Anything works. And we appreciate it. I normally try to delay for a second. So that way everybody can get their stuff in so I don't miss any names. Draken's Haven! 
Welcome back. So good to see you. Let's get going. Happy Friday and a wonderful March 29th, 2024. I hope all of you have a magical weekend and I hope your weeks were great. Starting off with 21 Kurnash. Kurnash. Dragonland is here. Belurs. Bricked Ed is here. Cobweb and Rose. Codeman 9000. Dawnstar 782. Dave Hammer. Choo choo. Draken's Haven. All those emotes, all those wonderful emotes you see in chat, those are all the work of Draken's Haven. If you are looking to commission some sort of piece of art, go check out uh, Draken's Haven either on X slash Twitter. Draken's, if you could give me a good link. I want to put a, a link. Do we? Did I already put a link? I, I could have sworn we've done this. Yeah, I need to put a link behind that commit. There it is. Art, not artist. Go check out Draken's Haven. Get yourself made into a dupe. Ellie O'Nelly with the voice crack. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. Endgame X. Gold Iraq. David Perm is here. Just popped up. Just past the D's. Golden Creations Hawaii. Guy Vexil. I am Killer Dove. Master MSC. Minu Zeta. Miss Shay Shay. A wonderful hello to you. Mr. Brain Nazgul. How you doing, Naz? So good to see you. Necro McClellan. Old Man Wiki. Otaku 74. Point Loma. Pyroid Maniac. Bows and curtsies. Everybody rise. Queen Calero has entered the court. Rakeen. Ravenstorm Frost. Soriel Blackfeather. What do we got today, Soriel? What do we have? Um, oh, level eight monk. Very nice. Stomp them. Stream elements. Some guy that plays the Gilded Squid, the Haunted 318, Wikipedia's Xavier, and Zimmy99. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Punchy time. Heck yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. But if I did, if you popped in too late, just give me a boop and I'll make sure I say hello. Dave asks, are mushroom farms overrated? I personally use slime for polluted water and algae. Asked by Belores. No, mushroom farms are not overrated. Uh, mushroom farms are very easy to set up. You just put them in some carbon dioxide. Uh, I recommend putting the storage bin with all of the slime under just a little bit of water next to the mushrooms. And uh, yeah, it'll feed your dupe some decent quality food for quite some time. It's a good, it's a good way to get off of uh, meal lice and all it takes is slime and you're not gonna do anything else with the slime. Uh, you shouldn't need algae. If you're, at least in the long term, you shouldn't need algae. And you've got better things to do with your polluted water. Thank you for forwarding that message, Dave. I appreciate that. I would have missed the question by Belowers. All right, let's get going, huh? Millennia. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, I haven't played it since launch. I don't, I don't know if they've done a uh, post-launch uh, update. I'm sure they have. Come on, open. Uh-oh, what did I do? What did I do? Task manager. I had to accept terms of service and all that. Here we go. Launcher update ready. Do it. 
What's the plan for today, says Belowers? I'm gonna be trying to get into a heroic age. I've only gotten into one. They're quite difficult to get into. Um, and I only got into it because one of the AIs found three landmarks. Is that what we call them here? Old man wiki. Hello. Welcome back. Mr. Brain, I appreciate you uh, mentioning the question again. I am Goo in with the eight months. Welcome back, I am Goo. Ellie says, Lurk, last haul of stuff to Goodwill to clear out the final move box. Nice job taking stuff to Goodwill. I am a fan of Goodwill. I don't love everything about it. I just like the idea of people giving their stuff. Um, Goodwill does a lot of work with uh, like getting people back on their feet, um, work placement stuff, that sort of thing. And I like that idea. All right. Dave, I appreciate uh, you stopping by. Have a great day. Rest of work. We are getting this going. Boop. Yes. Naz says, I initially thought of their fighting scenes as silly, but I, I now actually find them cute. I like them more so in the later game when there's a lot of different types of units. One thing I'd like to see is leaders not sitting on the front line. Leaders to me should be in the back and maybe take them out of combat, put them uh, as just a sort of a leadership role sort of thing and not actually participating in combat. Maybe even don't even make them a, uh, a part of the unit stack or at least take up a slot of a unit stack. I don't know. All right, we're going to go new game here. We could have continued our last game from the last stream, but I don't know if that's fitting. It's been a minute. I want to see it fresh from launch. Uh, yeah, let's go America. I'll make this person be somebody random. And I think, I think today, I normally do a... I normally start with a scout unit. I think starting with a scout unit is strong because it increases that exploration. But the problem with starting with a scout unit is you only get that initial bonus. You only get the one scout. Whereas if you went bonus production, you're getting one more production for the entire game. And that pays dividends for a long, long time. Orbit eight in with the two months. I appreciate you, Orbit. Welcome back. So I think production right now is my favorite. It may not stay my favorite. Oh, like bonus culture is strong. Discounted settlers can pay dividends. There's also the scout movement bonus, which is a very long bonus. That's... Wow, right here, yeah. That is strong. What does it increase them to 40 instead of 30 is what I'm assuming. Suarez's Zykin. Welcome back. Yeah, we're going to go with the bonus production. I've wanted to play a playthrough with this. We may even re-roll. We may re-roll. In fact, we'll probably take it to a poll if we think we should re-roll. Because I want a strong start. I'm thinking we're going to... That's another great thing about this game is you can't say I'm going to play this type of game right from launch because you got to look at that map. Oh, this looks decent. This looks decent for sure. Yeah, we don't have any resources in our first ring. I don't love that. But look, at we've got grassland, forest, a couple of hills, and some scrubland. Yeah, let's take this to uh, let's take this to the pole. 
New poll. Map. Reroll. Keep it. Polls up. Please vote. Um, if you don't know anything about the game, um, it has similar similarities to other 4X. You want to look at this first ring. This first ring is very important because it's your starting ring. Um, it can really accelerate where you're going. But in this case, I think I'm going to be starting with... Um, what do we call them here? Some hunting camps anyways? I would have loved to seen like a cattle or something in that first ring. Do I feel the game is better than Civ 6? I don't think that's a fair question to ask in game. Uh, and for the reason why is Civ 6 has been about, what, seven years? It has two complete expansions to it. Um, this link game just launched. So I don't think it's apples to apples. I think it's more like apples to kumquats. Millennia does so much different than Civ 6 while keeping that core that core flavor there. We also need to decide where I'm going to be putting my face. If you guys have an idea where to put my face, I'm thinking maybe maybe that's the good spot. Jarifa, I appreciate the lurk. Thank you for coming by. Current Ash says, no obvious towns, but looks good after the first expansion. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we could have a decent farming town. Maybe here. This looks to be a grassland. It's not a great, it's not a great town, but it's still a good one. Actually, your face should be above your neck. Touche. My interest in this game got me to install AOW4. Different. Definitely different um, 4X, but another beautiful game. I've been wanting to fire that one up too. We'll probably play it sometime in the next few Fridays. I'm in a very 4X-y strategy mode lately. So yeah, we'll obviously keep our, uh, we'll keep our Anis, but. Is that water on top? Yeah, it looks like the poll is 81% to keep it with only 30 seconds left. So unless something miraculous happens, we're going to be keeping this map. So let me do a quick move here. We'll go one to the north. Oh, what is this? Oh, tundra. Oh. I don't love seeing the tundra. Let's check south. Current ass, what are we thinking? Chat says, yeah, I'm still 81% um, to keep it. I'm not sure after seeing that Tundra. Thoughts on Ixion? I've never played it. I don't even think I've given it too much of a look even on the Steam page. Dragonlance is the best game ever. Strong words from Dragonland. What's wrong with Tundra? You can't work it as much. There's not as much meat and potatoes to it. And it also tells me that there's going to be a bunch of snow up here, which is not useless because in this game you can build buildings and stuff, but it's still not great. Sampai Gemini, 14 months. Guy says reroll after seeing the Tundra. Yeah, let's reroll. I would like to see a reroll button. Uh, talking to the devs about it. It is coming. Get off my United States. We're playing America today. Oh, maybe we play United Kingdom. Yes, you can be United. You can be the United States. That's fine. Who we'll plays the Brits? Um, and I'm still going to go positive production. Because I still want to... I want to try this out. Medium-sized map? Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what we get. Uh, ooh. Ooh. 
Okay. We got some... This I like. Let's give it a quick early scout. This is probably a... It looks like a peninsula. Unless this is connected somewhere. Let's check over here. I have to go search over there. But I think this we're going to keep this. The uh, the game is very good. Let's see. What are we going to build first? I think we have to go scout. We'll see what we pop up with. We'll go scout first turn. And I like going tribal elders. But scouting is also strong because then you'll get a, another scout. Let's go scout. I'm going to try emphasizing scouting to increase the chances of us getting that heroic age. For those you don't know, in order to get a heroic age, before the third age, you need to find three landmarks and still be leading the research tree, which is tough. Yeah, I think this start is pretty strong. I like it. Whoop. Oh, our first goody huts. All right, we got the Lost Scouts. Boom, spawns a Spout Calvary. It's, um, some people may be thinking to go Exploration XP. I don't like to do that because a Scout Calvary costs you 20 Exploration XP. So getting the Scout is really good. And then I'm going to separate them and they're going to go do their own thing. Oh, and there's another one. Let's go. And I think I'm going to join these two up since I'm going to have so many scouts on the rip. I'm going to join up these two warbands. And that way we're a little bit stronger against barbarians in the early game. Guy says, I think I'll finally be able to watch a whole stream. I've been a YouTube watcher for years and started watching the VODs with the latest series of Ani. Work and family have meant I haven't been able to watch more than 20 minutes of a stream before. Guy... You got to take care of business, right? You got to take care of what's most important in life, but I'm glad you're getting a little extra time. Boom. Oh, and we got a river, which will help for good uh, defense. One bad thing is it looks like we're backed into a corner here, which means we have a disadvantage when it comes to exploration. So these scouts are really going to start paying dividends. Lost Warband. We will definitely take the Warband again. Warfare XP is good, except a Warband costs 25 Warfare XP. So you might as well take the er the units, especially in the early game. Uh, we will send them away. And I will link these up. Beautiful. Beer Killer says, this doesn't look like Ani. <laughs> no, it does not. It's Free Play Friday, Beer Killer. Uh, I guess we'll short move that scout. What do we got? One turn left. Uh, I think since we got the scout from the Goody Hut and we're getting a scout from Research, we're not going to go with another scout. We're going to go Town Center or Dolman. Dolman might be advantageous to get the early influence growth to be able to grab this game. But we could also do that with a town. Let's go government XP. By grabbing the town center building. Oh, no, 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 no. Queue it up. There we go. I think we're going to be able to get a lot further in this game during the stream as well. Because we have... Um, I'm not going to be doing as much explaining as we did in the very first stream. But if anybody has any questions, please ask. Kira Nash thinks we should raise the uh, the Miner City. I was thinking about that as well, especially considering we already have a three Warband stack. All right, let's go down here. Another goody hut. Love to see it. I got to get this scout around out from out these guys. It keeps blocking them. We're move we're losing movement. 
Use culture power already. Create town. I don't love where the town would end up going. I mean, am I wrong in that? I mean, I know we're going to have a bunch of improvements here. So maybe the town right here would be good. I've never really done a local reforms. The corner could help is if you only got a couple of ways to move and explore with a limited number of scouts, it means you'll be able to see a larger percentage of your viewable area. That's fair. That's fair, but it's less land itself um, based over time, right? So imagine you're in the middle of a giant landmass and you send three scouts in each direction. You're gonna be able to explore a lot more land quicker. We are kind of shrunk into a, a pie shape and to do our exploration. So we're not gonna be able to get as much in the same amount of time. Doff, hello, welcome. I'm thinking local reforms, except I wanna see exactly what it's gonna get us. Right now we got three, let me um, snip this. Snippies. And see what it actually gives us. So I can make educated decisions later. Local reforms. Three, two, two, one, six, five, four. It's the same. I'm not sure what local reforms gave us. Unless it doesn't kick until next turn. Oh, I didn't select it is why. Ha. Huh. I got to select the region. Yuck, 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 yuck. Uh, I am killer dove says fishing town up north. It wouldn't be up north. If it was going to be a fishing town, I'd put it over here where there's more tuna, more fishes. All right. Now let me look Four. that's plus one, three plus one, three plus one. Oh, I do like this. No improvement on improvement points plus two on the production plus two on the food. And plus two on the influence. Wow. That is stronger than I thought. That's a lot stronger. I like it. I like that a lot. Especially when you don't have an obvious first town. Because remember, the first town only helps you get borders. And if you're not going to do anything with them anyways, I mean, is it really a big deal? I'm going to hold off on spending our tribal points until we can get up to 30 for that settler. I, One of these games, I'm going to do the increased food. Okay, if I do increased food now, it will slow down the settler because you're not going to be able to get more government points. But increased food would get us up to 200% need because right now we're only growing at 88 positive percent. Can you put, can you post towns two away? If you put it north, you block more with your borders. Yeah, I don't need to worry about the, well, oh, over here. No, when you put a town, you can only do it one away from your borders. But we, we will slowly start growing. So if I look at P, this is our growth. Depending on the type of terrain and where we're coming from, explains how fast we're moving. Let's see if I can punch that in. So you can sort of see we're getting 0.26 influence per turn for this tile. And it's going to take 15.15 to actually grab it. But because we're growing so evenly, when we do finally grow, it's going to expand in this entire area all at once. The water tiles are a little bit more expensive. So. It's definitely something to think about. All right. I need to figure out how to get rid of those. There we go. Um, my hot keys to punch in the camera are a little different. They pot, they have, they share hockeys here. Oh, look at this. Already, I'm gonna have to cross. I might as well cross on the hill. 
and go down. We do have a barbarian fight here. This will be an easy, easy kill. And then I will be able to move past since we saw them. All right. And here's our other scout. Oh, I'd love to be able to link up. Let me put this scout here and see if the barbarian is dumb enough to attack us across a river. Lumbertown? Do you think there's enough forest for that? There's our scouting, hence the reason that popped. Uh, let's go tribal elders for the knowledge. Ski Daddy, welcome back. Good to see you. Yes, the barbarian did come across a river, which is glorious. Our scout's not great, but a lot better than it would have been. Uh, let me grab this. Strange designs. We get knowledge or improvement points. I do like improvement points. Don't get me wrong, but I think knowledge is the way here. I mean, now we're only one turn away from Tribal Elders. We do have enough to put down a Hunter's Camp. But I don't think it's going to change much. Because a Hunter Camp here, it's only going to give us one meat. It'll give us a little bit more positive food. We'll put that down. Now we, and it gives us access to meat. So now we're at 188% again. Not shabby. Not shabby. Did I get Sampai Gemini's resub for 14 months? Please tell me I didn't miss that. I think I got it. I hope I got it. All right. I also, I'm going to be wanting to work this mine. Well, Alex, maybe we work the forest first. Although the forest is giving us one food and production for foraging it. Whereas the hill will only give us one production. So maybe the mine would be better. I don't know. All right. Uh, this scouty boy will give us some early scout on this. Oh, there's a barbarian camp inside the minor nation. Mysterious village. Plus 10 to government XP or exploration. We're going to take the government XP. Absolutely. Because it'll give us closer to that first settler. And then let's go punch this guy in the face. Thank you, Dawnstar. Another barbarian dead. We'll have to do some heals before we take down that barbarian camp, but we're definitely going to do it. Uh, let me move one down further to south. Really try to get some more visibility. Move up against the river this turn. Oh, we got a landmark. We got one landmark, folks. I don't know if two scouts is enough. I was kind of hoping one of those goody huts was going to give us a free scout. Zolden says, this is BS. It's still March. I shouldn't have to wait to go outside and mowing. Oh. Hi, Zolden. Amy, welcome back. Good to see you, Amy. All right, here's that other scouty. We're going to go... I do have five exploration points, so I could heal up. I think I'll wait. I'll try to go over here. If we do get hit again, then I'll pop the survivalist. Survivalist will heal that scout. All right, we have a barbarian coming in. I don't, I don't care, right? It doesn't bother me. There's another one. All right, let's go leave that one be and get a hold of this region first. Maybe they'll follow us. Another camp right next to a tribal village. <laughs> Amy's idea for getting out of mowing. Just spread a bunch of local wildflower seeds and claim it's a conservation project. <laughs> I don't think that works. <laughs> There's another camp. I want to get closer see that tile okay nothing there so then we'll just join up these two 
Oh, perfect. Spawn an archer? Absolutely. The only dangerous thing about getting this archer is actually getting them home. Because archers do not do well against line without a buffer. So but if I can get them home, they'll be great defense. Tribal elders, there is our access to the council building. Let's go. I like the early improvement points with workers. The archer is also good. Let's concentrate on growth right now. We'll get the workers. Organization for the ethical treatment of wild camps. Nice. All right, that barbarian's going to kill themselves on our city. I'll show you how that works here in a second. They didn't stand a chance. Well, they stood a chance. It's just not great. Basically, two city militia. You get city militia built into your cities, and the bigger the cities go, you, you get more city militia. All right. This scouty boy... Let's link up here, link these up, and do a nice Discover Landmark. Now, I wonder which one gets the experience for discovering the landmark, or if they both get it. We have found... Uh, it doesn't say yet. Five Exploration XP. Ten Combat XP. That's not bad. Um, I think it's going to be called a Tall Mountain. The Sahara Desert. Did I change the outline of my camera? No. I don't think so, Weazar. Welcome back, Weazar. Rumor has it. Rumor has it that you have a, uh, a pretty big uh, pretty big night tonight. I'm very happy for you. Yeah, let's punch in once. See how this goes. <clears throat> it's not going to be great because we don't have any archers to take care of these dudes. So we are going to take some damage. And it will probably take two or three rounds of attacking. Next turn, we'll be able to get rid of the Palisade Walls. But we're definitely going to have to heal up before we're going to be able to take the... the Minor Nation. There's another Barbarian. Artifact, plus five knowledge, plus five culture. We're going to take the knowledge. The more knowledge we can gain, the more quickly... Um, so are you only fighting one or two turns? I don't know what you mean, abductor. Please, please expound. Region idol. Oh, we completed the town center. The lookout... I like. But I think we gotta go council. Then into dolmen. Again, concentrating on growth. We'll be fine with units for now. Then the battle will end automatically. Oh, I see what you mean. No. So if I just sat there, they would keep going back and forth until the combat ended. I'll show you one. Oh, they spawned one. Don't love that. Oh, and they spawned another one down here. All right, I'm going to go into the woods. Guard. Hopefully they'll throw themselves into us. Give me more! I need more scouting! There's Syracuse. That might be an that will be another minor nation. Um, so one I have not sent an envoy. I think well, let me bit I have sent an envoy to a minor nation, but I think it's always better just to take it via force. Weazer says, hey, Echo, is it Cool Sock Friday? It is. Yeah, Weazer's going to prom tonight. You ready for this, Weazer? Just for you, buddy. <laughs> Some Twitch socks for you today. <laughs> They're actually pretty comfortable too. I bought I bought these off of Amazon from the Twitch store and they are 
They're decent. I am happy. Guy says you're playing as the UK. Just conquer all. <laughs> all right, this archer can slowly... I should have done a little bit more research, uh, exploration. All right, we finished workers. I think we punched to the Age of Bronze to be the first. We may come back or we may just keep kind of punch until we lose that momentum on uh, knowledge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Barbarians coming from the south. Get into the city there. So this is what we were talking about, Abductor. See, right now it's nine turns for this combat. You don't necessarily always kill something. Notice we're getting a 20% combat bonus. But because we're on screen, and this is not a very interesting battle, I just hit the fast forward button, and that way we don't have to go over it over and over again. Boom. And then there was another one. Another combat by the other unit. They both killed themselves against us. Yeah, I think that fast forward... This is why I don't understand why people complain about this. Right? Not all studios have the money to throw thousands upon thousands of man hours into better art, animation, that sort of stuff. I think it does just fine. In fact, some of the the Siege animations, I think, are pretty good. Um, and it just adds something to the game. It doesn't take away from it. So some of those complaints on Steam, I'm not... I do not support. Right. Next here, Mr. Rusty. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, my goodness. All right, we have met... Uh, is this the French? They will pop next turn. Dragon Land Aid said Echo got rudely cut off by an ad. Hey, we got to pay the bills, Dragon Land. We got to pay the bills. I run very minimum ads. I think it's... Um, and... Dragonland should be back right now. We got to pay the bills, Dragonland. And I run a very minimum of ads. I think it's one minute every hour. Abductor says UK versus French. That will be War Echo. I don't want to go over here. Well, I can go over here now. Because they're probably going to keep trying to kill this. Which means I need to start exploring this way. Because all of this area means the French have already explored it. Is what I'm guessing. Alright, more barbarians creeping up. Because of course they are. There's another goody hut. Culture power. I like the Eureka for the bonus knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? Oh my goodness, I've been messing up. We could have spawned a settler so long ago. Do we have another area we want to settle? Either way, we know we are going to get the food now. We could go to knowledge because I don't know actually down here. Iger says, hey, just noticed you start to stream from Discord. What do you mean by that, Igers? That you, oh, you just noticed that I started to stream. I see. Killer Dove says, unrelated question, how hard is it to stomp a nation early game? Stomp? It's difficult. But you get to the early mid game pretty, pretty quickly. Um, if you have a lot of archers and you can get to spearmen, which we're going to do pretty quickly, it's decent. I'm thinking about going the extra knowledge. I do want to settle this down here. This is some good territory to settle. Of course, this could be really good too. And then we just raise Syracuse. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, let me see if we can avoid the barbarians. Oh, I don't like seeing that doing this. Uh, warfare, we don't have enough yet. Now, settlers do have an attack and defense, but you know how that goes. 
And I think most of the barbarians are occupied. Occupado, as they say in the con continental. Continental. Most of the minor, minor nations already hogging the space. Maybe if their towns are good, then don't spawn settler. Destroy the other orange football team. I like it, little car. I like it. Uh, we have 14 inspiration points, and we are not doing well. Uh, let's go Forester. That will give us access to some wonderful logs, which is plus two production. It'll get our person, because we only have a growth of two, or we only have population of two, so it gets them from working the hills. Nadev! Welcome back. I appreciate the lurk. I have found that most of the minor nations, they don't, they don't have a lot of great resources around them. This one's decent. I see some cattle up there. Um, we can now go up here. And I'm going to guard. I need full health. Yeah, this is a good minor nation. We want that one. Uh, a barbarian just came out of the booth. Oh, where did they come from? Our settlers survived, thankfully. But it looks like the archer bit it. Oh no, the archer wasn't there. The archer's still down here. Go away, sir. Go away. I'm going to try to take the long way around. Let's see if I can goat the barbarians with the archer. Because I think they'll be fine if attacking across the river. It says, be nice to the French. They have good bread. Stompum says, I think the ads that cut off audio but continue the stream video should do um, closed caption during that time. That's not a bad idea. I think that would help. I'm sure some advertisers wouldn't love that, but I think that's a good compromise. I want to save our exploration point to be able to heal our scouts in case they need to. All right, down here. Yeah, they are still going into here. The Palisade walls are down to 50. I'd love to be able to take that Barbarian camp ourselves, but I don't think it's in the cards right now. Then we have this scouty boy. Oh, look at this. Look at this money. Look at all the hills, the grassland. Riku with the 11 months. Only one more month. Until you get the wonderful Echo Versary party. Hi, Riku. All right, settlers here. I want to get to this tile, but I want to motorboat about doing it. I don't see any barbs. Okay, we'll settle next turn. Now, watch how this combat went. They, remember, they're getting a 40% defensive adjustment. Those barbarians are only able to do 8 damage. And archers do bonus damage against line units. So yeah, our morale went down pretty quickly, but we were in no danger of dying. And now I can send... I kind of want to send the archer down here because it's more of a forward settling spot. And I don't think there's another Barbarian down there for right now. Hopefully I don't lose that Archer from that dumb decision. All right, more scouty action. I don't love only moving one spot at a time, but I should have moved differently there. Barbarians to the north. Barbarians everywhere. Barbarians everywhere. What happened here? All right, we got hit. Let's head south. They shouldn't be able to hit us. Here's our settler. Kaplumi! Newcastle upon Tyne. That's a good one. This is a good city. 
I don't know if we're going straight vassals, but they should grow quickly with all this access. I don't know if we should go tall or wide. Let me get these folks in here. We did start a new one, Amy, because I wanted, I wanted to, tr I didn't like the way that game was going, and I'm also trying to get a heroic age. I think everybody would really like to see it. And I don't have to explain as much this time, so I think we're going to be able to get a lot further in the game. Um, we didn't get the welcome message from the French, but our power score is a little lower than theirs. Not too bad, though, so we're okay. They won't declare hostilities yet. But I need to keep that in mind. Once we have enough Warfare XP, I need to pop a Warband. Guard them in there for now. I did get the welcome message. Thank you, Lokar. Thank you, Kodov. Zolin says, why hasn't Echo made a special nation yet? The Echo playing Echoes. Government XP, the way to go. Or Warfare XP to get the unit. I'm still going to push the limit. I'm going to go Growth. Government XP gives us more things. We can grab Knowledge. And then we can get... Next time we get 6, we'll grab the Warband from here. We have 6 uh, improvement points right now. So I'm going to get another Hunter Camp. Let me see what we're foraging. We we're not going to even work it yet. And because we only have two people that are working. And they're both concentrating on growth. Which I'm fine with. But we're growing next turn anyways. We could have Zolden and Amy Towns. Zolden and Na Amy Towns. I like it. Um, I mean, we could name these things like uh, Amy's Sixth Army. Maybe we'll do that during these type of games when people show love. I don't know. All right. Did we see a barbarian up there? No. We know the French are down there, so I kind of want to go check out up here. There's another minor nation, too. Still not healed. It takes forever to heal outside your own territory. We are 78% to the Age of Bronze. The French are only 24%, so we are leading the pack right now. We have some big decisions coming up because I have no idea what we're going to go into for our first national spirit. Making me a general would be a terrible idea. I'd make everyone wear purple and we'd camp in the forest and make friends with foxes. <laughs> and that's how England fell. Kuranas correctly says that's the domain power. It won't spawn the warband, but rather give you the option to spawn one using the warfare XP. 100%. What do we have access to? Yep. We'll grab that now. And then over here, we'll be able to um, raise a tribal army. Good catch, Kuranash. All right. Uh, more exploration. Let's try up over here. Ah, yes. Vologda. Not bad, but not great. A lot of mountain in the way. Hey. Who knows, yo? Welcome back, Kevin. Ten months for Kevin. Big decision. I'm good at these. My answer, yes, do it. You're doing it. I'm proud of you for doing the decision that we made. <laughs> Kevin, how's your week been? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Can we get a uh, shout out in the channel? For one amazing Who Knows You. Who Knows You is actually one of the few streamers I have in my streamer board. They play a lot of different variety games and have a great personality. They co-stream with the amazing Weird Dreams. <laughs> Amy says, just thinking out loud here, is it still a war crime if you do it before the Geneva Convention? All right, so the Age of Bronze gives us the new national spirit. 
Our vassals are integrate twice as fast. Barbarian warlords may appear. This is what we got to watch out for because we don't have a big standing army right now. And we get access to the Innovation and Chaos events. Ancient Bunny, hello. Good to see you. Mr. Jibo again taking care of the streamer with a drink and a post-gym pandiculate. Thank you, Mr. Jibo. Well, you are tribals, and it should be a national spirit animal, and that is obviously a quokka. Very nice. Cheers to you, Mr. Jibo. All right. Um, Zoldan with a big bomb says a war crime is a war crime. Geneva merely defined everything and provided a means for prosecution. Or did it make the law stating what war crimes were? Because before there is a law, then you're only talking about morals and ethics. You're not talking about the law of uh, right and wrong, right? Government XP? Notice that the tribals get bigger in the new age. Now they're worth 20. 20 diplomacy would unlock some options, but I think it's easy, easy Plus 20 to government. I would love to raise the tribal power. Or get the war band. We could do another one for 12 in three turns. Or we can save up for the increased improvement points. As someone new, can you slow down and elaborate on pandiculate, says Rainbeer. Pandiculate is a fancy word for a stretch. Um, and it's one of those big, big stretches that a lot of times induces a yawn. So it's just kind of a, a meme. It's just, it's another way we do streamer stretch. <laughs> Welcome, Rain Bear. Ben Solas in with the follow. Welcome. 20 warfare. We just completed research too. So we're going to have to do that this turn. Where do we what search? Can I say except you're welcome. Are the French over here? Because I don't want to go where the French are because I want to find more landmarks. And there's mountains over here. So the only place we have to search is going to be over to the east. <laughs> Amy says, too long didn't read. It's one of the streamer Tamagotchi commands. Yorichi Sama, hello, welcome back. Uh, we will leave these folks in here until we get a big enough stack, and then we'll start going to take down some of these barbarian camps that are bothering us. Um, I like belief because it gives us access to the temple, which is plus one culture and knowledge. But in this case, I want access to the spearmen because it'll help offset how much we prioritized production in the early game and get our army back up to snuff. Who knows, Joe says, you know what's odd? I've never thought, let's touch beards together. This is a truly magical thing that happened. I'm sad I couldn't witness in, witnesses in person. I am too. One day though. One day, buddy. All right. Here are the, uh, the national spirits. Talk amongst yourself. I am going to go shake the dew from my lily for one minute. Zoldan said, Bunkin just managed to have two stowaways on our rocket, so now there's three dupes in space instead of one. <laughs> oh, man. Um, discuss it amongst yourselves, what you think, because we're going to have to go through this and figure it out. But I'm, I'm not going to be long. I just have to uh, go pee. Be right back.
I'm back. I fibbed. I also went and got a uh, a Slim Jim. Yuriji Sama says, Ancient Seafarers means we see more sea action. Not necessarily. Ancient Seafarers, um, they give bonuses to early ships. You get reduced spawn utility. It, it helps get you stronger into the water. We got to look at the map. We do have some scrub land. So an argument could be made for wild hunters. The two bonus food from meat is really good. Reveals elephants. Bonus improvement points from bone and ivory goods. Wild Hunters is a maybe. Also unlocks the Bow Hunter, which is a strong unit. I kind of want to go Wild Hunters. I, lo I love Olympians because the Olympic Games is really good unit. Lucky Wolf, welcome back. Mound Builders are good. The problem with mound builders is that the burial mound has to be built on grassland, um, not scrubland. And we have a lot of scrubland. And we have even more meat down here. Yeah, I think we have to go wild hunters. Let's do it. I want to reveal that elephant too. All right, let's go. Uh, these folks are going to stay there. All right, where are you? Are they both running towards the same area? I guess it's okay, because then we can have a three stack of scouts. But we're sort of limited. There's mountains pass here. I think we got to explore to the north. All right, so I'll send this guy up. Did I not get that tribal village? Erg. Erg. Why did I skip this? All right, they still didn't see us apparently, but now I can run into the woods. Why, why did I? That was a fail. Beautiful. Because yes. Fair. All right. Big money, big money, big money. 20 engineering points or plus 20 warfare. I think the warfare is stronger. I like engineering points. We just don't quite need it yet. Does the spirit powers last forever? Forever. It, it's sort of defining. That's one of the great things about Millennia is the, okay, we're playing as the UK. Doesn't really matter. You get to define what that looks like. Right now, uh, we're wild hunters. And in two more ages, we pick another national spirit that further defines who we are as a people. All right, we're going to get attacked. Not a big deal. Hopefully we just push back into the woods. All right, let's go south. Nice open land. Can avoid barbarians that way. How are we doing on discipline? Three turns on discipline. We have five improvement points. We're at 184% growth. That's why we're growing so fast. We're about to have our fourth pop. Yeah, the nation name is just a flag to fly. Absolutely. Oh, wow. We actually did some decent damage to that barbarian. I want to see how that happened. It's just a two units versus one unit thing. Very nice. It kind of makes sense. Because I don't think these this barbarian could hit us 
They can't move into us because of these hills, so it kind of makes sense to attack into them. Just to be able to finish them off. For the bonus experience, uh, bonus warfare experience, and to give these scouts more personal experience. 43 on the warfare. Let's spawn a unit here. Here's a, his exact, a Barbarian Warlord. That's tough. So, and these guys are still healing? I don't understand. Let me try healing outside of the nation's borders. Yeah, the, some of the nations will get different AI, AIs. Like, for instance, this France is militant. I don't know if all Frances are militant. How many turns have been healing? For a, a while. I mean, right? Uh, let's go on this hill, which is across this river, and see if we can goat the Barbarian Warlord from attacking in. Or into doing it. Alright, what was that? Oh, that's not good. That's a warlord. Granted, we do have the archer with the city militia protecting. But you can see... Luckily, we survived, but it's not great. Yeah, they did attack in, which is fine. I'm, I don't love that we lost a little bit of health. We'll keep guarding. Weird Dreams, welcome, says, good morning, afternoon. I have acquired and made spaghetti. Oh, I do love some spaghetti. All right, now we're getting hit from both sides again. These folks, we're going to go north and explore. Oh, my. There's more barbarians. This is why I cannot wait to get these spearmen and start just demolishing all of them. More landmarks. All right, we have finished the Dolmen, which has increased our influence. Work camp gives us bonus to production, which I like. Let's go work camp. I don't love it. It takes us nine turns to build it, but we'll soon start getting better. We're only at 138% growth right now. We have eight improvement points. What's this going to take? Uh, we have not unlocked farming to be able to grab this, but I don't necessarily need the wealth. So I'm thinking another hunting camp right here. All right, we did get hit by the, that scout did get hit. Ooh, luckily we lived. Um, these dudes took a ton of damage. I think we can attack in again to clear that. More experience both ways. Yes, yes. Of course, there's a camp up here. We're going to have to be careful. I'm going to spend some of this exp uh, exploration points. And heal. And then keep moving. I'm only going to use one heal, though. We'll save it the rest. They, this person still got 50% health, so I'm fine with it. Remember, Lucky Wolf, we try to keep the language PG-13-ish for the dupes. Uh, reinforcements, no. Domain. Raise another tribal army. Let's get the improvement points first. And raise a tribal army. Oh, yes. We can upgrade to a Spearman for three Warfare experience. I'm going to send these folks back because they're hurting. And then I'm going to start spending three Warfare experience to upgrade all these Warbands. That will make them super strong. All right, little Lone Scout. 
Oh, look at this nice city down here. It's a little further away for us. Kevin says, so my 47th, 24th birthday is this weekend. Is your age a secret in your community? Um, do we Eureka again? It's worth 10 knowledge this time. I mean, we're about to grow, so I don't need to do the influence. We could raise the army. It gives us a spear and a warband. Kieran asks, says, nice agritown with three flax. Could feed two cities with that much cooking oil. Wait, everyone is 24? Yes. Um, let me choose the tech. Looks like some people... No? Let's go mining. That way we can start working that mine. We need production. And then I will Eureka. Took three turns off. We're about to pop here, not too much longer. Don't want to do any of that, that's fine. Yeah, they just destroyed themselves on our spearmen, which I am fine with. Now we'll heal those up, let that keep going. Uh oh, I think we lost our archer. Oh, no, we're good. Very nice. And we're going to take that Spearman stack and add the archers to it and start clearing out all these places. All right, barbarians to the north, to the south. And more to the north. Oh, we found a tribal camp. All right, we're gonna get hit up here too many times, so we need to be careful. I want to grab this, yes. Spawn an archer. Spawn an archer would be good, but it'd slow down this scout stack. I like the archer. Could they get back though, and how long would it take them? One, two, one, two. Yeah, it'd take a long time. I think we're going to go with the Warfare XP. Because now I can take the Warfare XP and add another Spear Stack to these folks. And that'll make them stronger as well. Hmm. Should we start raising... We're almost to innovation, too. It says we'll take light dam or medium damage, so we're not going to. But I will do some exploration with these folks. I just want to clear out this little area and see what we're working with. All right, Scouty. Scouty, boom, bowdy. Show me your goodies. There's another travel camp. I love how many travel camps are around here. All right, now you can scoot up. Another tribal camp, and we should be able to beat the AI to it. Plus 10 culture, plus 10 innovation. We're definitely not taking the innovation because our innovation is already pretty full. And once it pops, we lose 70% of it. So in this case, we're going to go culture. We have nine improvement points now.
but we're kind of stacked out. We'll we'll build to get the mine and everything here in a minute, so we'll wait. Then we're gonna have to move these hunting camps down to the game so we get bone and meat. Because right now we're just getting meat. Our pioneer. We should we put an outpost chat. Maybe a fishing outpost. This area is just not good. I guess we'll start moving it down. Um, where are my other folks? We had another stack of spearmen here, didn't we? Disbanded because of no money. Oh! Oh! Oh, Etu Brute! I didn't even see it. We need our wealth. I didn't want to lose spearmen to that. Oh, good call to a key, Luis. That's exactly what it was. We lost these two. No. I wasn't even looking at the well. Oh, that hurts. Uh, that really... Re okay, we still have these. But we need cash. We need farming to be able to put a thing here to get the wealth. And even then, it's going to be too much. Okay. Alright, this is going to be okay. I'm not upgrading these dudes yet. If I can kill this barbarian camp, it'll give us a quick surge of cash. Let me disband. No, I'm not disbanding. Give me some wealth. No wealth. Government XP. This is an all is lost moment. Mandrilla Sphinx. I appreciate you. Welcome to the chaos. Welcome to the broke, broke nation of the UK. All right, let's go to tribal or uh, wild hunters. Is there any? No. Nothing we can get in here. I guess we'll grab our innovation in our... We still haven't gotten our innovation event yet. I'm going to wait to pop this um, government... Come on, get me in there. Right here, the tribalism reformed until we pop that innovation because this should give us cash. Come on, baby. Daddy needs some cash. Please stop disbanding. Oi, Definitely problematic. We met, uh, what is that? I don't know who that is. India. Lokar, I appreciate the lurk. Let's choose our next tech. We got the mining. We'll see how much that mine costs. I'm not backfilling yet. I want to keep leading the fight. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, discover enough landmarks. Let's get belief. Hello, India. Oh, that barbarian, of course, came and found our pioneer. So we will skadoodle back. Skadoodles. 
Luckily, we haven't disbanded these armies yet. Why won't you pop? We're at 20%. Pop it like it's hot. Mmm. Guy. Guy with the uh, with the historical meme. You've met India. Sounds like a sensible place for a colony. Too soon? Is that is that too soon? We can take the tech when it's just one turn. Yeah, that's probably smart. Oh, I need more money. And I don't have farming yet. None of this provides wealth. I guess a dock would. But I don't have anywhere I can put a dock. Uh, let's see what's going to be up here. The mine is 21. We'll get a copper. <laughs> Amy said, not going to lie. Any Civ game where Gandhi's India is not incredibly aggressive is just a missed opportunity. As always, Amy, well spoken. All right, I'm going to dis... <sighs> it's only costing us 0.5 wealth. Undiscovered landmark. Oh, that could give us monies. But there's barbarians there too. We got to do it. Amy O. Welcome to the chaos. All right. Little horsey boy. Let's go find one more landmark. There's a nice little uh, tribal village. I'm thinking about disbanding this pioneer. No, they don't look like they cost us money, so I'm okay. We did just lose another spearman. Let me get in here and do some attacking. This is why I like this animation screen, because now you can see that the archers will occasionally fire over. I don't know what the targeting is like. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but it's a thing. All right, next turn we'll be able to take it and that will be cash. Unfortunately, we're at 30%. And we still have not popped yet. But once we do, we lose a lot. Uh, this landmark, discover it. No cash. No cash at all. Let's go up in here. Maybe there's another landmark. There's probably a landmark sitting right here that we can't get to. That's another improvement we need. We need it to tell us when they disband a unit. Spawn a pioneer, no. 20 engineering points or 30 engineering points of five chaos. We'll just take the flat engineering points. Let's go public improvements. That'll give us 25 on the improvement points, which means we can go up here and grab our mine. The difference between a mine and a quarry, quarry is a default, right? They only give limestone, whereas a mine will give you like a refined metal sort of thing. Look at our expansions too. <gasps> Wait a minute. That was a mistake. I undid the mine because watch this. Now we're gonna be able to put hunting camps on the dairy boys. Now we're making money. How long has that been expanded? How long have I been missing on that? So now when you go in here, you can see we're getting two bone. Last turn said abductor. Thank you, abductor. Uh, we still haven't popped our innovation because of course we haven't. So I don't want to spend it quite yet. I could raise a tribal army now. Well, no, I'm going to wait. All right, we have enough for wild hunters. Gives us access to bow hunters, which are really good. Let's get those Bowie boys. 
Now we have a nice bow hunter here. Now bow hunters compared to, where are they? Mm, archers are almost double the attack and defense. Archers get six attack, six defense. Bow hunters get 11 attack and 11 defense. They cost a little bit more, right? Yeah, they cost twice as much at one health. But that's pretty strong. They can also harvest goods outside your territory. I wonder how the they would do against a barbarian. Let's go find out. All right. Uh, you're staying there for a little while. End that turn. We don't have to worry about disbands anymore. 40% chance and still haven't hit it. Give me cash. Cash money. I want to be a gangster. Might want to get that town next. Pops are becoming stagnant now. What? Oh, because of the region? Are we already at max? All right, 100 wealth or 10 innovation. I'm not taking any more innovation because we're already capped. Now we got a little, uh, a little nest egg. Let's see how this goes. They're not good against line, but... Oh, 23. Slice and dice. Bow hunters. All right, next. All right, we found that one. Let's go searching over here. Give me one more landmark. Come on. One more. Un mas. Un mas, por favor. Oh, look at this. India is already trying to take that minor nation. There's our innovation. The hunters from the United Kingdom have started imbuing their meats with spices to enhance the taste. We'll get plus one bonus culture from meat goods? That's amazing because of all of our meat. We're definitely taking that. Our culture is about to go ridiculous. Uh, what happened here? They died is what happened. Now I can move over. Let's go heal and then go raise Syracuse. It'll give us a little bit of um, of a penalty up here. Now I can go back into government, into tribal, grab the innovation from tribalism. More culture. Uh, let's go down here and explore. You know what? This might be a good spot for an outpost. Let's send these boys down, too. Oh, that scout is sitting right up on our butt. So let's send this scout over here, and we'll hook back down and go over here. We need one more undiscovered landmark. Try... We'll save it there and come down through here. Oh, there's the United States. Got a feeling we're not going to get along for a little while, and then we're going to be the best of friends. Best of friends! Oh, of course there's a ton of barbarians. You like apples? How about them apples? We'll hook around. Best of friends until the tea party happens. But everybody likes tea. All right. They are good here. Let me upgrade both of them to spear. Oh, no. I messed up. I hit the promote. I have the worst leader in the world. Can I undo that? Yes. Whoo. Thank goodness. Too fast of the clickies. We killed the Palisades. We should be able to take it again next turn. Hopefully, if I don't forget. 
we're going to take that stack, go into Newcastle, Pontine, and heal. Ugh, there's so many units down here. There's never going to be an unexplored landmark. Culture power. I do believe it is about town time. Town time. The question is, what kind of town? You do get a bonus for putting a... A town? No, your farms get a bonus for being on a river. But we need to raise the, the population level, so we have to put this down. There's already two improvements there, so that's probably a smart part. And also putting it there gives us some roads. Once this becomes on level level two, right now we're getting two wealth because of the adjacency. More ways of gaining money that I should have done earlier. We have 19 now. You know what we can do? Get another hunting camp. We don't need housing yet. You know what? I'm going to get another hunt hunting camp. It's probably not great yet. Actually, I, I'm going to wait on that one. Because once this area spawns, which it should next turn, we put another hunting camp by Sunderland. So let me undo both of them and we'll put them over here what did you upgrade the army when what did you do to upgrade the army slots um it was this tech right here discipline gave us access to increasing the army size so we're not going to get access to the age of heroes again because we only discovered two landmarks so we're going to go into the age of iron I can't believe we missed it out by one landmark. They should be finally able, be able to take this. Goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. We'll take the warfare experience. I'd love some nice volunteers. We've got the case to support them. Because this is also going to increase our... Yeah, our power is 245, so we are staying up with it. Zoldan says, thank you for the clip. What did I do? Oh, please tell me you didn't clip me not singing. Would a town give bonuses to hunting camps? Only played mound builders yet. I am not 100% sure what kind of specialization would help this. I don't know. But remember, any... Any improvements around a town give you plus one wealth. So, at a minimum, the hunting camps will give the plus one health. Or a plus one to wealth. Raise tribal army? No. We're done with tribalism. Murphy says we'll find a landmark in a turn or two. Is that, yeah, because we're in the Age of Iron? That would figure. All right, let's go down here. Oh, there's a no Oh! Little goody hut. I too like them goodies. Mm. I'm thinking a northern outpost up here. Maybe for the fish. We'll see. We will see. All right, let's keep going down. I'll go through the woods, though, so they, those folks can't attack us. Another scouty boy. I guess we're going east. Ain't no one got time for that. All right, I want to heal because some of our... Oh, I guess the archers are decent. Oh, we're out. We're out. I don't want to be out. No, we'll hold. Town grow yet? No. It's coming, though. Look how cheap the tiles are to grow around the town. So we will be growing just a minute. I think we got to go temple for the culture and knowledge. It would be nice to start producing some bow hunters. 
And we're going to have to start keeping an eye on Canterbury's unrest. Not yet, but soon. Oh my goodness! I'm not mad. Chat, you're mad. Our barbarian archer just comes out the booth. And we still were one turn away from defending it because they got moral morale broke. Routed, if you will. Look at our loss of territory. Oh. Be still, my heart. All right, what's that cultural power of restoring a town? Yeah, that's a definite rip. Oh. Early game barbarians, folks. Early game barbarians. Archers, can we attack over the walls? That'd be nice. Thank you. I'm wondering if we're going to lose a unit here. We're still one turn away from being able to destroy them. Or are we? Oh no, that's... That's the minor nation, never mind. Uh, what's going on here? We would take medium damage. Let's concentrate on that after. Let's go back and support this effort over here. I wanted to peek up here, make sure there wasn't a landmark. Maybe we'll check west. I mean, we did a decent amount of exploration. Considering our unfortunate things. Curran Ash says that was heartbreaking. Yeah, it was. That really slows us down. Significantly. All right, let's go kill this. Kerplash. More experience is good. And then we also get this. 20 Warfare XP or the Exploration XP. I think we'll take the Exploration because it'll help us with the Wild Hunters. We are close to revealing elephants. I am so saddened by this. Rebuild town at 25. We'll be able to get it back in 13 turns. We got to keep our cash stockpile so we don't disband. I'm thinking a nice little... Uh, fishing outpost. Up here. It's not great. But I don't really have anything else. Unless I wanted to put something down here. Eh. Alright, where are we? Alright, let's sub some of these guys out. I'll heal these up for one turn. These folks can come down. Their barbarians are everywhere. I am going to take a... A um, survivalist on this. I don't like using the exploration. Now that we have wild hunters. It's one of the disadvantages to my eyes of getting wild hunters. is because this exploration um, is so good. Helping your little guys out in the early game. But not bad. They attacked in more barbarians because, of course, they can't get through our line, though, even though our line is significantly... Whoa! Calm down. We're going to lose some spearmen here if we're not careful. Let's see what kind of unit makeup we can get real quick. Let's go up here. Leave the spearmen behind. Ah, oh, we don't have enough. 
Yeah, and go back like this. So these barbarians can't attack these guys. They need to heal. Nothing there, so I'm going to go try to search up on here. Give me a landmark! Ah, oh, India found the Borneo Rainforest. Why, India? Alright, we're going to found an outpost here. And then we will be able to do things like gather a trading post here. We'll see. What happened here? Who attacked us? That would have been better. I didn't even see them. Is it something to do with vision? Like, are they hiding? We are starting to generate unrest. So I am going to raise a tribal army. And we lost the town, so we lost our population limit. We need to rebuild the town or just build another one, but we don't have the, like, how do we lose all of this? That wasn't the town's areas. That was the region. That doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great. We're at a hundred percent housing, so we do need a dwelling. Hmm. There's our dwelling. Because our production is lacking right now. Three turns until temple. Kieran asks, is I would have rage quit by this point? I mean, fair. Right? Fair. I mean, we're still going to have to repair these. All because of a barbarian archer just coming out of the fog of war. Get wrecked. Easy clap. Boom. Um, now I'm going to send these folks back. They need to heal. And then we're going to take Syracuse. No, I did it again. Wrong button. Who are we going to send out of here? These are two spearmen. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably send one of these spearmen back, the weaker one. And then we'll take this band and take Syracuse. After we do that brief exploration. The rainforest. No, India. That was my landmark. All right, a Eureka for more knowledge. We lost so much culture. So much culture. Let's go local reforms. I like local reforms here. We're going to use engineering to get that town back. So the bonus production is going to help offset. Are we? Oh, no, I messed up. What else gives me the ability to raise my region level? I do not know. Let's uh, reveal elephants. Two elephants down here? Oh, that is gorgeous. You need to pack up shop, buddy. You are going right down here. This is gorgeous. More meat and potatoes. More meats, please. All right, you are here. This weakened dude is going down. See buildings for region level? Maybe. I don't think there are any right now. Yeah, no. Not that we have access to yet. Nothing over there. Oh! My... Look at all the elephantes! Look at the elephantes! Wow! Wow! Wubsy! Oh, it's like a little slice. Kill it up, says Indian elephants. Sure looks like it. Sure looks like it. Come on, engineering. Ten more. 
cutting edge. No. And then we could absorb the outpost right through Canterbury. <gasps> That's a plan. That's a plan. All right, we can do this. I've got it. We're going to put down the outpost, use the culture power to absorb it, and all of this land will become us. Ugh. Oh. Karen Asset, India settled the three flax. Where? Oh, no. Are they forward settling on me? I don't see them yet. Hopefully not. Oh, right here. I mean, it was a strong move. Let's be honest. All right, let's go finally finish exploring this. Beautiful. Now we have three Spiri boys here. And those scouts are about to get attacked again. No big deal. We're going to save that cultural power. Remember, you can still bank your cultural power. And we're going to absorb the outpost. It'll also make our region a level two. Where are you? I need you to hurry, buddy. All right. What are we thinking? Right here? Next turn. Give me my experience. Bloop. I like the bow hunters. We just don't have the production for it yet. But we're about to. We're about to go bananas in Canterbury. Absolutely bananas. We're also going to go take that barbarian outpost. Uh, are there any other barbarian posts hiding about a foot? All right, we're going to heal these guys up. This I'm a little concerned about, but they're going to keep smacking to us, so I'm fine with it. Is this the entire continent? Ish? Pawachi Sox331, first time chatter, says, Yo, I'm here because who knows, yo, recommended. So you must be good. Well, I appreciate you. Appreciate you stopping by. Nice to meet you. Ah, uh, but here's the deal. We don't like Kevin. Okay? Kevin's the enemy. Don't say anything, Kevin. Don't you sway, people. Uh, meeting hall for the diplomacy. Bow hunters. Mm, bow hunters might be great to get those elephants, too. Actually, let's grab a quick city. Go uh, okay, diplomacy. We'll get one diplomacy. And then we'll go into city guard. Because I'd like to have a city guard sitting on that tile so we can move that warband out for the unrest. Another innovation pop. Uh, hardy steeds. We can get... Calvary has times two defense. That's strong, but are we, we don't have cavalry. But maybe this entices us to get... Calvary. Times two defense is, is ridiculous. Killer Dove says, is there a mute Kevin option so he can sway me? We've timed Kevin out before. We are not scared. I mean, yeah, we're going to take this. This is a permanent game bonus versus three. Uh, we need the cash. We're moving six per turn. We'll take the cash. And only reason we need the cash is because we're not able to do this All right, now let me try it. Culture, absorb outpost. Outpost does not border your region yet. Oh! I need more. I need just a little bit more. It's going to be so close. But this is okay. This is, this is okay. I can gather this with trading post here in a minute. 
It'll give us more access. All right, let's go into there in a minute. Pyroy Maniac with a pandiculate. Thank you, buddy. Oh. So I might as well pop that culture now. Seruko. Nope. Seruku. First time chatter. Finally caught you online. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Kuranash with the drink. Cheers to you. Love some Perrier, huh? All right. Scouts. They were exploring. We still are losing money, but that's whatever. I don't even want to talk about it. Um, should we create a town for Newcastle upon Tyne? I mean, like right here. Oh, I can't yet? Oh, they can't be adjacent to landmarks. Ugh. Oh. Joining the drink with some water. Very nice. Stay hydrated, my friend. Stay hydrated. I don't know what to use the culture on. The innovation might not be bad. Local reforms would help us get more influence. Even though we're forever away here. Let's get the innovation. The Sahara Desert should be five tiles. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, 12 turns away. Oh, no. Seven turns away till we can rebuild that town. What a... That barbarian archer is going to haunt me for a long time. Age of Iron, I think it's us? It is. Mine improvements cost 20% less during the Age of Iron. The growth rate of population increased by 12 and a half. Well, we're not growing, unfortunately. We also have the government unlocks. Uh, fortunately, we're not growing because we're still stuck at population limit of six because we're pro. All right, let's go cross them. Oh, look at that big volley. Now, I wish they'd follow it up next turn by killing that unit, but they won't. For some reason, now they'll... Oh, they did. A lot of times they don't. I wonder what the change was. Increase population discrimination more. No doubt. All right, warfare experience or exploration. I'll take the exploration for the wild hunters. I wish it would have given us some engineering. But that would have been nice. Plus two food from meat goods. I think we want to save that. And that's going to cost us 40. I don't care about reducing the cost to expand into scrubland. I think we're going to save for some smoked meat. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And do it. And do it. First time chatter. Welcome. Pwachi Socks 331. I appreciate the follow. All right, we're going to keep going down. Not that landmarks matter anymore, but exploration is still strong. Actually, we should probably take these, make them both leaders. And join our leader stacks. Upgrade to crossbows. For nine and a half experience, we'll do it. Rain Bear in with the prime. Thank you very much, Rain Bear. I appreciate you. This scouty boy is doesn't, doesn't have a lot of experience. Lack of experience. Alright, tech. We're not going back yet, right? Farming for one? Okay, we are going to go back for one. That seems just too strong. Because we'll be able to get our little grapes. Who wants grapes? Anybody want grapes? Tribal's done. We have the option to switch. Where are you, government? 
Oh, when we in one turn when we pop our culture. Wild hunters, no yet, not yet. Okay, a few more turns. Ski Daddy says they prefer strawberries. You're a strawberry. Maybe we take uh, Vologda? I think we could take Vologda if we heal a little bit. We're also just going to go absolutely crush this dude. Crossbows? Like, please. They just did 60 damage. Are they fermented or raw? Killer Dove. Ah. I do like fermented grapes. And then these folks here... It would be great to have a crossbow with them. We've got some exploration. So while we can't get... Oh, wait. We could raise an army. A spear and a crossbow. Right there. We'll take the crossbow, join up. And then these boys are going to go hit Syracuse. Now, hopefully, we can take down the Palisade wall. The Palisade walls really quick. Maple of the Arison. Welcome. Welcome to the chaos. First time chatter as well. Come on in. We're handing out grapes. Little duck, do you have any grapes? <laughs> Come on, take it down. Can we really take Syracuse in one turn? Syracuse is the one that we're raising, right? We're burning this thing to the ground. Which means we are going to get some chaos. Please, professional army, can we take down the folks with pitchforks? They just have such a high defense. 13 defense. Whatever. All right, so that's there. And then we have these folks here. Let's take down the barbarian camp first. I guess that's next turn. Where's the line for the grapes? The um, the fresh grapes are over there. The fermented ones, they're in these weird bottles. Um, you take them out with corks. Um, and then once the cork's out, then you can actually drink it. It's weird. Oh, this scout's been tracked. It's okay. Let's go uh, roll and roll and roll. I don't mind losing the scout. And we're going to anyways now. Because they're not a very good scout. I don't want to waste the exploration. So I'll gain the one warfare experience when they get attacked and then they'll just die. High quality pitchforks. All right, what we got here? That's the backup spearman. News from abroad, India and the United States are now at war. Has that ever been a thing in history? I don't think it has. Correct, Kira Nash says, nope. Yeah. It didn't sound familiar, right? No, uh, you can sit in there and be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. There's our one turn farming. Now let's get back up here. Because defense is spawning an archer. And that adds additional defenders. Yeah, we got to do that too. There goes that scout. We're losing 12 per turn because we are broke as a joke. But now we have farming. Let's get the plantation down, giving us access to grapes. Mmm, grapes. Guy says, crossbows in 4X games always annoy me. In real life, much worse than normal archers. Takes longer to load and shorter range. The only improvement is that they're easier to teach than years to become proficient at archery. Um, there's one historical facet you're missing there. The invention of the crossbow was actually the decline of the knight. Because cross bolts um, were the first thing to be able to puncture armor. Whereas typically archers are further away. And the, and the uh, arrows didn't do as well. Live action pixel. What's up, buddy? Are we winning yet? Eh, we took a, we took a pretty big hit during the last age. We're doing all right. Can we get a, uh, a shout out for pixel? How's it going? How's dread? 
you know, all the questions. All right, let me get my free crossbow. Where is... How our production must be horrible. Longbow men beg to differ, says Guy. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. City Guard is still coming. Three turns. Day off of the day job, so I've been sleeping. Good for you. Good for you. I'm glad you're able to get some rest. Oh, uh, let's go in here. <laughs> She's really good. Just had her hair done, all sorts of colors. I'll have to pop in her next stream when I'm doing my Twitch scrolling. <laughs> Yes. Today, the Syracuse will become a part of the United Kingdom. And we will swiftly burn down all the buildings, and then there will be no Syracuse. We apologize for the inconvenience. We will incorporate your culture into our own. Cheers, mate. It kind of happened during a colony revolt of 1776. I can see that. A colony revolt. <laughs> I like that. <sighs> All right, so we are going to burn it to the ground. And it's not because... It's because we already have a nice town here with a lot better resources. Syracuse is just in the way. We're going to gain two population in Canterbury, which is great. I wonder if it's going to allow us to because we are population capped. But we're going to destroy it. We are going to gain the chaos. We'll end up paying for that. Yep, we gained the population. Four more turns until we can rebuild that town. And boy, do we need it. Maybe it's time to integrate Newcastle upon Tyne. Because of all that meat. Yeah, let's do it. We're just sitting on so much of this. And we got hunting camps for days. I mean, look at this. Now we got wealth, we got meat, meat and potatoes. Oh, wow, all these UK named towns. We, we chose to be the UK. We chose to be. We're trying to get our town back here. It was doing so well, and then we failed. Horribly. Everything good here? We just crossed our improvement points. But Newcastle upon Tyne is going to definitely uh, grow pretty quickly. All right, these folks are ready for another attack. Yes, barbarian tribe, you will die. Production on Canterbury. I like that. Or you can get a pike. Now, these are d interesting, right? Because we don't have access to pike until the next age. So it really gives you a military advantage. But in this case, we'll take the production. Which probably completes the city guard, almost. That would make sense. I look forward to some of the pronunciations. Well, we said we say uh, Canterbury and Newcastle upon Tyne. That's the only ones we've founded to be able to give you uh, pronunciation. All the rest are the AI places we've taken. There's our other crossbow. I think we're fine with leaving them in there. These folks now need to go heal. You can stay put. Our scouty boys are going to go into the deep forest. There's our defenses. It gives us another archer, which we've already gotten it. Uh, so now let's go work on our Age of Iron. Construction still very expensive. I wonder why it's not showing. Because normally the research costs are flat unless other people have researched them. So I'm not 100% sure why. I like the library for scribes. There's Calvary, but we did not take the bonus defense from Calvary. We need something to do with all of our meat.
That's flour. Sanitation might not be bad. Positive influence to all regions. I kind of like that because we want to join those borders. Now, where is my meat and potatoes? There's a building. It's probably community. That takes meat and turns it into something. Something. Ugh. Guy says, Shame Sunderland didn't spawn next to Newcastle. For context, they are 10 miles apart and on different rivers and therefore obviously hate each other. <laughs> the only thing I would change it to Canterbury. So instead of Canterbury, so Canterbury. May not exist in this age. Yeah, I don't think it does. Could have. I think we're still sort of searching for that. Four turns. I'm not going to forget this. I'm going to try the reminder thing. Doesn't always work for me, but I'm going to try it. I need to rebuild that as fast as possible because we have really limited our growth. All right, this is in Newcastle. I thought we are... Oh, these are our completed buildings? I thought we already... Oh, this is our new... New, new. This is our new, new. Let's get the uh, work camp for the bonus production. Because right now, production in here hurts. We will be able to... Not the swamp. Maybe the deep forest one day. Whoop. It's funny how similar the way things are said are closer to a Yankee accent in New England than they are to the rest of the United States. Because in New England, we don't say our R's at the, if they're at the end of a sentence. So, we, you know, we used to say ka and ba and a beer. But when the R is in the middle of a word, it gets a hard pronunciation. Which is what it reminded me of when you said Canterbury. Not always true, but some words, you know. Alright, where are we? We're right here. We crushed souls here. Now, do we have enough health? It says light damage. I want to heal up. I have to heal up. I don't want to lose any of these units. You mean like English? Yes, I mean like English guy. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly. I'm talking about the accents, the regional accents. <laughs> and do you mean the King's English? Pixel says it's crazy when I went over to Dreads just how many places are named um, in the UK, yeah. But in weird orders, absolutely. Especially the um, state of Massachusetts. Oh my gosh. Massachusetts has so many um, names that are ripped straight from England. What are we doing in Canterbury? The Granary? Gives us a region level. It'd take 11 turns. Plaza would start giving us the art XP. We could get the bonus influence by improving the Dolomen. But I think we're going to go with the Granary. Boom. News from abroad. India and France are now at war. So India, the United... India is at war with United States and France. What does the Colosseum give and take? Um, I did not see the Colosseum. Am I blinded by the light? No Colosseum. Oh, you mean the plaza? It gives us plus one to arts XP. So in, in other words, it'll unlock another uh, domain over here. Still locked? Oh, okay. 10 unrest suppression, plus one to warfare XP, and plus one to culture.
All right, where are we? Ending the turn. Ending the turn. We are so close to be able to do good things. I think I'm going to make these leaders and send them back home. Keep healing. We're at 25. We are finally at 25. Rebuild the ruined town. Huh? <gasps> it's too far away? In or adjacent to one of your units? Or... <sighs> we got to get rid of the region cap. But we could also help this by getting the civic monument to increase influence. Oh, man. What about exploration? Where's our ability to just straight grab a tile? It's somewhere. Claim territory from the Age of Bronze officials. We're switching off the officials. Three turns. Three turns we can make it happen. In fact, we can also just regroup instead of having them explore. Just bring them straight home. Next turn, we'll be able to do those. Who are you? Oh, you're the city guard. Congratulations. Now you two can move out. No city guard. That's the wrong unit. Only one scout moved. I know. Um, I didn't... I don't think it's letting me from the next stack until next turn. Oh, no, it will. Thank you. Beautiful. Right, let me get rid of the, this. Two turns till officials. Actually, I can hit a Eureka. Or we can switch government types. With all of our meat, we're going to be gaining a lot of culture, so I don't think we're in a hurry to switch government types. Does anybody know, Kieran Ash, when I switch off of tribal, I know we lose these, but we don't lose these, right? Will our homeland still, I think it does. I think it does. 38. Let's do the peaceful revolution. Let's do it. Now the question is, do we go Imperial Dynasty or do we go Kingdom? I like Kingdoms because I like having a bunch of vassals. Because remember, every time you take another city, like how we now are actually controlling Newcastle and we're controlling Canterbury, there is a culture hit. So when you have just a couple of those big cities and then a bunch of vassals, you are able to um, keep your culture high. To look specifically what the differences are, you get a palace here. Palaces are a good boost, but it's only buildable once. Whereas in kingdoms, you get a seat of power, which can be in any place. Looking at the difference, let me do another snip. Snip, 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 snip. And I'll be able to tell you the difference when I'm looking at it in here. All right. Same culture, same wealth. More production in Imperial Dynasty. More influence in Imperial Dynasty. Kingdom gives plus one to all regional needs and extra food. Hmm. You're playing as the UK. The clue is in the name. Fair. Fair. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the buff to the homeland is the same. The other 
difference. I'm still not 100% decided on how big of a difference this is. You get bonus or cheaper settlers here. And install Sat Trap gives you plus 5% to Vassal Prosperity. The more prosperity a Vassal has, the more money it makes you. So I think we're going to go Kingdom. We're going to go Wide. Then we'll get our Seat of Power. Uh, do I want to spend these government points now? To spawn another Settler? Like up here? I could spawn on the Tundra, which would kind of erase it. Granted, there's some more Tundra here, or I could spawn next to the fish. No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Spawns two spear units at a vassal. That's a government domain power, by the way. These are all domain powers. All right, minus 30% uh, minus to spawn settler. We're going to be broke on government points for right now, but that's not a big deal. Not a big deal. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Oh, there's my scouty boys. Scouty boys! Uh, yep. Leader. And a leader. Now we have a couple of leaders. They are your tactics two leaders. And we'll have them join these armies. Okay, we're full health here. Let's go... Where are we going to go attack? <laughs> attack! These folks have Volga... Da, 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 da. I mean, almost did it in one turn. This place we we're going to keep. And then Sivus we're going to go take. So I think these folks are going to go take Sivus. And then when we get one more army slot, I'll add, I'll add the leaders. So I will leave these leaders in here. Give India a third front to fight on. I don't have access to India. They are way down here. Our, our nearest neighbors are the French. Mm, two more turns until officials is done. And then we'll finally be able to expand. What are you going to do? I guess you're going to go help out with the attack on the Savas. Savas? Yeah. Morgor, how are you doing? Good to see ya. 100 year wartime. No doubt. No doubt. I guess I can have one of these dudes. Join them. Whoop. And this should be it. I'm hoping that spear unit doesn't die, but... Oh. We didn't even get hit. Uh, we are not going to burn the place to the ground. Of course, getting two more uh, population for Canterbury is kind of nice, but we're going to make them a vassal. Yes. So now we got a little bit more passive income. And as their prosperity grows, by we can throw them um, merchants to gain their prosperity. They will give us more. And as they grow bigger, so will we. I don't think we have the production yet. Until we can get Canterbury back online, we don't have the production to be doing anything silly. Bend the knee. All other nations must surrender to the might of the kingdom of United Kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom's armies will enact its will. Pre-gunpowder units, 1.2% attack. Or times 1.2, so a 20% bonus to attack versus militia unit. Or 450 cash. I like... See, this is the one that's kind of like, eh, because this one has a cutoff. This one ends once we get to gunpowder units. But it could have good effects now, and if we just take France... Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Stop. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Ew, don't ever do that again. Please. Please. All right, this guy is going to go down here, join them. And we are going to go up and say hi to our friends in Cyvus. Hi, friends. You are going to go up here and take down this camp. We have an envoy. We could start diplomatic relations. Should we start some relations in Marseille? Research is done. All right, so what we have to do, exploration, claim territory, boom. Then we can take rebuild ruined town, rebuild it, and then it will start growing again. Thank goodness. We also need to repair that hunting camp that they rudely broke. Look at us. Finally growing again. We need more food, but that will come here shortly. Warfare? No. I think we're good on everything else. Man, can we turn on them later? Oh, absolutely. The envoy just allows you to get in there and start conducting business. Just conducting business. All right, let's go back up to our main line. Finish off horses. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that feels good. Repair this. Up to 123%. What are we working? Man, we got five meats. We are still pillaging in this grassland. And in a scrubland. So what you do in this case, you give them something else to work. So now, instead of working that scrubland, they're working yet another hunting camp. All right, we should start making some wealth again, too. We're still at minus two wealth. Can I afford one more hunting camp? No, not till next turn. Wealth, 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 wealth. Oh, and we're so close here. Once we're touching, we'll then be able to get access to absorb here, and we'll start be able to get the ivory. So nice. All right, what are you doing? You are going to go chill in Newcastle upon Tyne. You are going to say hi to these fine folks. Hopefully we can get enough cash from this barbarian camp to just eat the chaos event. Vologda needs renaming. York would be a good one. Taken from the Vikings several times and has the other one as the only other archbishop brick in the UK. The other is Canterbury. So which one do you want me to rename? Vologda? I like it. Boom. Did somebody say Arby's? I love Arby's. Is somebody eating Arby's right now? Don't tell me that. Oh, a beef and cheddar. My mouth just started watering. Curious, could we have a name settlement ream? No, not yet. I've been thinking about it. All right, let's get in there. What kind of damage would they do? Medium damage, so we'll wait until they're a little bit weaker. Now the expansions are starting to happen. We're gonna cross this one pretty quick. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. 150, 15 knowledge. All right, the chaos event won't be that bad, right? Oh, and it's going to drain all our cash. Plus 15 knowledge is big. All right, we'll take the wealth. Crispy bangs. Crispy, I hit four PRs today in the gym. Four. I went angry and frustrated 
And I said, you know what? I'm just going to put up weight today. I put up weight. And I realized in that moment, I have not been lifting enough weight. <laughs> like, I've been going there and relaxing, right? Like, ah. Uh... Four PRs. Zolden, have a good one. I appreciate you coming by. All right, they can chill there. Huh? All right, we got to wait till the next turn for them. What are you doing, little envoy? You're still traveling to Marseille? Here we go, finally. Hi! Knock, knock, knock. We've got cookies. This one's going to hurt a little bit more because they have City Militia 3, which have some big, uh, big defense. Luckily, our spearmen are upgraded, so they can take a little bit more. I don't want to rename things yet because I didn't put the redeemable stuff in. I always fail to put redeemables in for the games that we're playing just one-offs of. Take down one of the stacks, at least. No. I don't necessarily want to go in... Let's do it. We'll do it. There's our leader. I don't love the leaders yet. Next age, they get a little bit more uh, not big guy with a club looking. Based on your love of it, if you take a sell settlement near a marshy or hilly river, it needs to be named Cheddar. Hold on, is Cheddar an actual city name? Or town name? Can we please kill these guys? Oh, so close. Our pikemen did break, but they're still alive. It's a village. Stop it. Is that where Cheddar was invented? Tell me that's where Cheddar was invented. Tell you what, I need to go to the motherland. All right. Or is it the fatherland now? I don't know how it works. How much, how many things changed? What, 50 years? There was a queen and now there's a king. I wonder how many things changed, like almost overnight. Like now, I don't say the queen's English. I say the king's English because I am fancy and cultural. All right, there's another barbarian encampment over here. More cash. Still trying to get to Marseille. You have more health, so you can go finish up, mop up the dirty work. They already built palisades. Boom. Uh, we want to be vassalized. All right, what, what's the name of this one? All right, all my uh, folks from the UK, what are we naming Sivas? It's next to quite a bit of forest. And, and, it, and it's on the water. It has cattle. It has some olives. Sherwood. How big of a town we're talking? Well, right now, it's still 1760 BC. So, uh... <laughs> Kevin says attack here. Alright, hey, let's everybody heal up. Olives in England? Look. We gotta take a little bit of creative liberty. I mean, I live next to a place called Pratt's Bottom. Are you serious right now? That's hilarious. Sivas is a city in Turkey. Ooh, physicist. First time chatter dropping some knowledge on us. Thank you for making us smarter. 
All right. Oh, we have the cultural thing. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. We don't have the exploration to join it yet. But we are gaining 13 culture per turn, so... I'm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I'm going to acknowledge this raid right now. Okay, we're being raided. We're being raided. I feel like it's an aggressive raid. It's aggressive. Um, nope, that's the wrong button. It's, it's kind of aggressive because the raid message is, Punkin will beat you at Mario Kart from the left chair. All right, the left chair is... Uh, it's not good. Okay? It, the steering wheel did all like this. It was not good. Proof, proof in that pudding? I, um, I still won some games in the left chair. But the right chair was better. Welcome, everybody, to some glorious chaos. It's not a lot of chaos. It's Friday. It's a little sleepy. We're relaxing. How was the raid, pumpkin? And I see what you did there. Oh, you raided me, so I'm going to raid you back. Uh huh. Uh huh. Payback. Payback. Hey, make sure you go um, follow Pumpkin of the Pie. They are a uh, great streamer. She plays a lot of Souls likes, she plays Oxygen Not Included. Ed said, do the drift. I'm not doing... I'm not going to show you how I drifted. Okay, I'll show you how I drifted. All right, you ready? You have to... <laughs> so, on a normal Mario Kart thing, you know, when you're getting ready to go into a turn, you drift. Right? But you have to hold the drift. All right? If you want to go the other way, you drift this way. But you couldn't with the left chair. The left chair did this... Um, like, the wheel wouldn't hold it. So as much as you're trying, it just wouldn't do it. It wouldn't do it. Left chair was terrible. Absolutely. How was the stream today? And I know you can't stay long because you're going back to back, aren't you? Ridiculousness. And we have it on tape. It's horrible. I don't think, I don't think we call it tape anymore. I think we say we have it on video. Not that we have it on tape. That sounds like a very 90s thing. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you again for coming in. All of you majestic, majestic people. Um, we are playing some Millennia today. And I can't even scroll. There's the scroll. Hold on. It says I'm actually going now. Sure you do. Going again at Fall Guys at 7. So make sure you stop by Pumpkin's channel today at 7 p.m. Eastern to play some wonderful Fall Guys. Be careful of the one they call B-dubs. They get handsy and they try to push you off the little ledge. Yeah. Arson is Sands. Welcome back. Good to see you. Records a video in VHS and ships it to Echo. Tape. Yeah, well, I know. That would be tape, but it's not the same Z's. We are doing, uh, we are playing a little Millennia today, and uh, we're doing okay. We're the United Kingdom. We've got a couple of vassals because, uh, you know, pro. But we did have a couple of setbacks too, so we're working through them. Rem says if I'm there, I'm going to get handsy too. <laughs> Uh, you know. Boop. All right, research complete. We are in the Age of Iron. We're trying to expand through uh, vassalizing other territories and that sort of thing. So that's kind of our objective. Find more vassals. Maybe even get some settlers out. We're a kingdom. Guy says, in an answer of how much has changed between you've gone from queen to king, lots, but most of it is changing slowly. There are some weird ones that are changing, like the cap badges for most of the army units and the Royal Air Force as the crown has to change from the queen's crown to the king's. That's pretty cool. Big Panda, first time chatter. Raise your tech level high enough, then waste enemy forces with overwhelming firepower. Yeah, exactly. Big Panda knows the strategy.
Good stuff. I don't know what we want here yet. And it, see, infrastructure is looking cheap. Now, normally... Okay, so minus 10% from other nations means one other nation has done this. But why is infrastructure so much cheaper than, say, scribes? These used to all be a flat cost. But in the interest of getting us to the Age of Kings before everybody else, I want to go with the cheapest. Even if we'd rather get some other goodies, I'd rather tech faster, like what Big Panda's saying. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it there. We'll keep it real. Uh, should we spawn a settler? Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, wait a minute. Or should we look in kingdom? Spawn envoy, two spears. I want this reap scuttage. But I think it's a good opportunity to get another settler here. The passive income will help. And we'll just put them up here. Boom. Welcome in, everybody, again. I appreciate you sticking by, uh, sticking around. If you have any questions about Millennia, let me know. And remember, chat, go say hi to Pumpkin Pie. Go give her a follow. She's also a cosplayer. But I'm not telling you anymore because, uh, quite frankly, one day she's going to be ten times the size of this channel. Facts. We can get stores for the for production. The influence seems smart. We can also upgrade the Deceit of Power. Uh, that seems kind of weak. Encampments. We have so much to get. That's why I need the production in here to get better. We're at 200, 200. So we're going to be growing like nutcakes. I don't know how one grows like a nutcake. I don't even know where I found that. Uh, but we're going to be growing like nutcakes. Because of all of our meat. We're also, look at, we already have another culture power. We're gaining 13.1 culture. I probably haven't even spent it. Oh, but notice, we're getting a minus three from regions up here. Let me, can you see that? There we go. Minus three from regions. Because of the amount of regions we are actually controlling. If they stay a vassal... They're, um, they're all copacetic. What do we do? Maybe we put a town in Newcastle Pontine. Of course, there's not a lot of great towns, are there? There's not. But they're going to need it for their region level eventually. So I suppose this town right here will work. Winchester! We've got Winchester! Um... Which is already going to be giving us two wealth because we have a, couple, a pair of hunting camps here. This will expand. I want this tile here because that could be another beautiful piece of meat. You know what I'm saying. Um, did we already do this one? Yes. So they're getting 150%. Even with all that meat, they're only growing at 100. Oh, it's because they grew really fast. They're already at a pop five. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. What are we doing here? 200, 200. Oh, yeah. Just one more and we can absorb all this beautiful stuff. We're, of course, we're not going to have the uh, improvement points to do anything with it yet. But it's a thing. Sivus. Uh, you can stay here and heal. You can go look for more death and destruction. There's another barbarian camp over here. It's going to take you a while to get there, but... Don't worry about Sweetheart. Oh, wow. Look at all them goodies. Look at all them goodies. We got our fishing town up here. We're going to settle. Winchester as a town. It was the capital of England until northern France decided otherwise. I love it. All them goodies. Mm. 
Where do I stick you? I guess forward in York. Having folks in York because they're so forward to French. Speaking of which, how's that diplomacy with France? Yeah, minus 20. They are probably a little sad at us uh, because our settlements are too close. Really? Really? Is that all it takes? I've got nose itchies today, chat. Nose itchies. You know how annoying that is? We Azar's all fancy now. Airport plague. Ram! Aim with the drink. And a pandiculate. Oh. oh, man. Time to stretch the spine. That power score with France, it's not bad. We're at 486. They're at 550. Leader units? What does this mean? Oh, that's what they took. Their leaders have po um, bonus tactics. Rem, remember, this is not this is not crisscross applesauce pure. This is modified crisscross applesauce to help improve circulation. <laughs> Alright, cool. Maybe we should just take France. Is that, is that is that a bad thing? What is this little symbol here? Oh, it's telling us where it came from. Mm. All right, we have the work camp. I'm tempted to go do stores to get more production because the sooner we can get the production, the faster all these things will come. Crisscross apple slices. Invade and fight them for the next hundred years. Let me establish diplomacy first. At least that way we have somebody to uh, let them know that... There's London! Um, at least somebody to let them know that war is coming. Winter is coming. When are you going to sell socks, says Weazar. I need... I... Weazar, I have so much... So much stuff to do. I want to redo my store. I have no graphic artist. I have so much stuff. I want to make socks. I do. All right, we're in. We can open negotiations. Kevin says we love Dr. Pepper. Liz will work for Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Kutai. Welcome back, Kutai. Says, who has seen spiffing Brit's video on Millennia? I saw it on my thumbnails, but I have not watched it yet. Hmm. What were these folks doing? Oh, they were going down to York. Continue that move. Next. You're coming over here. I want to take down the encampment first. It says we'll take zero damage. Oh, because it's just a single. That way they don't keep spawning more barbarians as we're fighting all these barbarians. That seems to be a smart move. All right, warfare XP, which we have plenty, or government XP. I want the government XP because we just spent a bunch. I don't want any of these. I don't care about these. The game has no music. Oh! Epic fail, chat. Oh, it does. I just, I think I turned it down for recording a video. The music's actually really good. Let's try something like this. Rem says they were able to hear it. Good stuff. Oh, that makes it feel so much better with music on. I've been streaming for three hours without music. 
Streamer, you're fired. And that Rem says it sounds too loud. Everybody is going to disagree. I couldn't hear the music. Let me know if it still needs to come down. All right, where are we? Continue that move. Oh, yes. Time to go to fisticuffs. Rem says 64 is good. Thank you, Rem. Just crushing. Crushing souls. Another barbarian encampment up here. And another one up here. And another one over here. Oh, we need to get a settler over there. Look at all these goodies. <gasps> spawn settler. 12 turns till we can spawn a settler. I shouldn't have put the one by the fish. Yeah, you're going to York. Knock, knock. Ooh, big hit against the Spearman. Can we hurry up and kill them? Please? Boom. Nice. I guess we gotta keep going west because of these camps. I need to take some time to heal, though. That's funny. Uh, oh, what is this? Was that barbarian boats? Uh, barbarian canoe going against three water transports for France. What are you transporting scout cavalry? Hmm, you're suspect, France. You're suspect. Don't make me throw you into the river. Oh, look at this. They have a level two unrest here. France is not doing well. To war! Da -da -da -dum -dum. Da -da 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 -dum. Oh, I'm gonna need somebody in Newcastle upon Tyne, though. Let's change production here and get a city garrison. Our city guard, yep. And then the stores. These folks are going to come down here to York, heal up, meet up with these folks, and then we're going to go start... We're going to raid um, this town, Marseille. It's Nietzsche? Nietzsche? What? Nietzsche? I don't think it's nice. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep clearing these out. Boop. No damage. Very nice. Cultural power. Look at how upgraded these folks are. I mean, look at this. Big. Wait a minute. Come here. Big, big upgrades. Remember, every promotion they get is another 10%. These crossbows have a 40% bonus. Huge. It's nice. Thank you, Harvester of Soy. Learning is occurring. Look, we already have another culture upgrade. We're making zero money right now, so I don't want to do that. I want to absorb an outpost. Can I... Exploration? 36. We'll get there. We'll get there. Warfare. Volunteers. We'll do another stack of spearmen. We have 22 improvement points. I 
I need production is what I need. Mine. Beautiful. Now Canterbury has bone, copper, grapes, logs, and uh, some, uh, some meats. Lots of meats. Place is starting to look good. It's going to look better after. Oh, change specialization. Oh, it's not a level two town yet. I'm thinking Eureka. We don't have anything else that we really want to do. I could raise the army. Let's raise an army. We'll take out the leader. Because this leader's only giving us, what, 10%? And I'd rather have more units until we have more of a stack. We'll combine these and then head down. The only bad thing is they have a lot of forest here, which is going to be a little problematic to get in. Welcome back, Dave. Hope work was well. Oh, we're losing five per turn in the monies. In the monies. Generates wealth from a vassal based on its population and prosperity. Reduces the vo- oh, I don't want to do reap scutage. This one generates knowledge based on the population. And it does reduce the vassal's prosperity. But the sooner we can get to install Satrap, the better. I guess we'll do that. Now we get 50 more and we'll be able to get this. What up? Don't make me feel bad, okay? Don't make me feel bad. All right, here's what we've been saving for. Now we can accept two barbarian lord warlords in each region for all nations. Or pay 450. Now, this is interesting. I don't want to lose the 450. I don't have the money to do that, but I do have the army to take down the barbarian warlords. But some of my vassals are not going to be able to handle those warlords. So I think I'm going to pay the 450. Guy says accept. All right. I'll accept. There's there, there, there. There. Oh, there's two over here. Please don't take London. Please don't take London. We have three city militia. They sh might be able to hold. I can't do the volunteers yet. I got six turns. I don't know if that was the right call. I do not know if that was the right call. Let's go help out clearing things before we go to war. You will lose the outpost? Oh, no! No, I won't. Run, little buddy! Run! <laughs> Random question. Can you get Yerba Mate over there? I want to send you a recipe. Is that a T? Speaking of T. Oh, so tasty. Guy says, just remember, your only aim as the UK is to beat the French. <laughs> All right, let's go rack up some experience. There's another thing I wish they'd say. I understand as a barbarian warlord. I wish it'd show like their entourage. Instead of just one guy coming at a, you know... Oh, we're going to lose that spear. Oh. That stinks. We just lost the spear. I wish it showed more with the leaders. It doesn't feel right the way it is. All right. Let's go kill these guys, and then they have to rest. 
These guys can sit in the swamp and heal for a few as well. People should run themselves into us, maybe. All right, there's the first warlord. Oh, there's... Oh, we did lose the pioneer. <laughs> According to a Google search, we do carry it over here, but I don't know about Echo, says Dave. It's a tea recipe, but it's made of leaves. The plant is like a grass. There goes our pioneer and our awesome outpost. All that work. All that meat and potatoes. No, no, no. Yeah, those warlords are just so strong. It's ridiculous. Okay, there's one gone. The city of Esther. Oh, no. This is going to end well. These folks have to get up there and help out. Easy. Boom. <laughs> London's in trouble. Gotta be honest, London's in trouble. Of course, they have three city militia. And what? They are city militia three. So that's not bad. But they're gonna have to take two attacks. Stupid chaos. Bad chaos. I can sit in there. Have they started pillaging anything yet? No. Not the... Oh, look at what they did. They just forward settled me with Bordeaux. Oh. That is rude. I need to get some settlements over here. I don't know, chat. I don't know. I do not know. All right, but I think that'll be... Uh, what are we going to do? I'll keep the same picture this time. We are going to save it. New game slot. Thank you very much. We'll probably pick this up on next Friday unless I'm in the mood for something else. I do not know. But I do appreciate all the beautiful people for coming out. Stick around for just a second. We'll chit chat for a minute. I'll say goodbye to everybody. And then we'll, uh, we'll go raid someone. Sound like a good plan for our Friday? The Queen's putting down some raid messages, if you so choose. Whoop. If I just copy that, does that work? Is that the whole guys? Let's, let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. Seroku, I appreciate you coming out. Rain Bear. Appreciate you guys. We'll be back on Sunday. I think we're still good for Sunday. I wasn't sure with everything, but uh, I think we're still good. We'll be playing some auction not included then. It'll be all the fun. Let's go see who's on and who we're going to say hello to on this wonderful, wonderful Friday. Supposed to be on a cruise right now, says Ski Daddy. Ah, oh, but the wife got ill. Would anyone consider a meet and greet cruise? Oh, I would. I definitely would. I love cruising. The problem is that it is financially unviable for a lot of folks. The chaos cruise. My goodness, wouldn't that be a good time? Now you've got my, my gears going. Pedro, I appreciate the follow. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Raid a chettle. Oh. 
this looks decent. Yeah, let's give them a try. They're playing Millennia, and I know a lot of people are here for Millennia. So, uh, it sort of makes sense. Except, how do I... How do I do it? There we go. Alright, the raid is up. The raid is up. I'm gonna run these credits. And, um, seriously, thank you everybody for coming out. I appreciate all the love and support. And, uh, until next time. Much love, happy gaming, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.